All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Crew show with a little Golden State Warrior video as the Warriors land another player today in a sign and trade deal. First, we're brought to you by Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. Check them out in Emeryville and Corte Madera. They're open from 11 a.m. till 8 p.m., seven days a week. Go get the brisket, the brisket chili. Go say hi to Damon and Mary. Tell them that Larry Kruger sent you. And uh, this video is also brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Check the link in the description. Use the promo code KRUG, K-R-U-E-G, and they will match you up to your first $100. Well, the Warriors have moved quickly to shore up some of the depth at the wing position following the departure of Klay Thompson to the Dallas Mavericks on Monday. On Tuesday, the Warriors reportedly agreed to a three-year deal with veteran forward Kyle Anderson, slow-mo, who will join the Warriors as part of a sign-and-trade deal with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Anderson has reportedly agreed to a three-year, $27 million deal with Golden State. Now, heading to the T-Wolves will be a future second-round pick swap as well as cash considerations. Last year in uh, Minnesota, Anderson uh, played in 79 games. He made 10 starts. He's a 30-year-old. He averaged 6.4 points per game, 4.2 assists per game, 3.5 rebounds per game while playing in 22.6 minutes per game. Um, he's known for his defense. He'll provide the Warriors with some quality minutes on the perimeter. Um, he's going to play off the bench, and he'll give uh, Golden State just a solid a solid bench player. Um, not, I, I got to be honest, this is not one of my favorite, um, you know, favorite moves by Golden State. Um, I'm not a big fan of slow-mo. I just, I'm, I, I'm just not, his game's ugly. I ain't really, he's not fun to watch. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, he spent the last two seasons with the T wolves, but he comes to the warriors on a sign and trade deal. Uh, Woj from ESPN reported three years, 27 million as part of the sign and trade. So, so it's a future second round pick and cash in a sign and trade. Um, and he gets the, the, you know, three year deal for 9 million a year. Uh, you know, I don't know. I, he, to me, he's just totally ordinary. He entered uh, the NBA as the 30th overall pick in the 2014 draft by the San Antonio Spurs. He spent the first four years of his career there in San Antonio. He then joined the Memphis Grizzlies in 2018. He stayed there until 2022. He averaged a career-high 12.4 points per game during the 2020-2021 campaign. Uh, the only time in his 10-year career that he's averaged over 10 points in a season. So um, he's a smart he's a smart player. Um, he's a reliable defender. Um, he can guard multiple positions. He can play multiple positions. Uh, he's he's high basketball IQ. Um, you know he's he's kind of thought to be kind of a glue guy. You know that's and and that's going to continue. I would imagine uh, the Warriors are trying to retool their roster with the departure of Clay Thompson now official um, and Kyle Anderson steps in. Now, is he, is he an NBA rotation player? Yeah. Um, but he's just thoroughly ordinary, really. I mean, if you, if you watch his game, you know, he, he's, he's just, he's just a bad guy to watch. I mean, his shot is slow and deliberate and really, I mean, it's just, it's, it's methodical. I mean, it's just a, it's a painful, ugly shot to watch um, him execute. But, um, but you know, he get, does give Golden State a smart player. He does give them a veteran bench player. Uh, the Warriors are using the traded player exception created by the Clay Thompson departure to bring Anderson in. So that's how they're getting him. He's 30, as I said, spent the last couple of years in Minnesota. Um, I'm just not a big fan. You know, I'm just not a big fan of, of the man they call slow mo. Um, he went to UCLA, first round pick, 30th overall in 2014. He's 30. You know, he's 6'9, he's 230. His game is just ugly. That's all. It's an ugly game. He's got an ugly looking shot. He's it takes him a long time to get it off. Uh, they call him slow mo for a reason. He kind of he kind of operates in slow motion. I you know, um, and yet he's a useful NBA player. It's not like they're getting a player that can't play at all. I uh, played 22.6 minutes a game, as we said. And three-point wise, I mean, he's not a three-point marksman. He shot, he's a 
career 33.8% three-point shooter. He's coming off a year uh, this year where he shot 22.9% from three. So that's not great. Um, you know, he's not, he's taking less than one per game. The year prior, he, he, he made 41% from three, which was far and away his career high. I mean, if you look at his three point shooting percentages in his career, 27, 32, 37, 33, 26, 28, 36, 33. And then the 22, 23 season, he shot 41% from three only to fall back this year at 22.9. Uh, free throws wise, he made 70% of his free throws this year. He's a career 71.4% uh, free thrower career wise. He's averaged 6.9 points per game, 4.4 rebounds per game, 2.8 assists per game, 0.6 blocks per game, one steal per game and one turnover per game. So as I said, he's a useful player. He's going to help golden state. Um, he'll play off the bench for them. He'll, he'll, you know, he'll give them some solid minutes. Um, but overall unimpressive. I mean, he's, to me, he's just not a, he's not a player that, um, that's fun to watch. He's, he's not an above, he's a below the rim ground bound player who, you know, truly slow, one of the slowest releases on his shot that you'll ever see. So it kind of it kind of screams out that he does he's not comfortable because his shot it takes him so long to get his shot off. Um, and as I said, he's a deliberate player. He's a beneath the rim player. He's not an exciting player. He's if anything, he you could argue, I guess, that he's an effective player, but it's very difficult to argue that he's an exciting player. He's not an exciting player. He's more of an effective player. Um, you look at his minutes throughout his career, the last couple of years, this year, 22.6 last year, he played 28.4 the year before that 21.5, 27.3 in his early days in San Antonio, you know, 10 minutes a game, 14, 16, his final year in San Antonio, uh, 26.7 a game. He's only averaged in double figures one year. It was 20, 20, 20, 21 where he averaged 12.4 points a game. Other than that, uh, his high watermark for points scored in a game is on average, I should say for a season is 9.4. So, you know, he's not a, he's not a a dynamic player in any way, shape or form. He's going to, he's a solid player. He's probably a good locker room guy. He's probably a, you know, a, a, you know, a decent team guy. He's probably a guy that, you know, guys like, um, you know, I've never heard anything but positive things about his professionalism, but just if, if you're, you know, is he going to make them a championship contender? No. Is he dynamic and fun to watch? No. So at the end of the day, you've got kind of an effective player, um, and he'll help, but I mean, I, the warriors, the warriors could be headed for some lean days. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what it looks like to me. The warriors are going to be headed to some, for some lean days. Um, they're going to have a hard time making the playoffs. They're going to have a hard time, you know, getting anything out of Steph's twilight years. Um, there'll be many, many, many people calling for Steph to be traded over the course of the next couple of years because they're going to wait, wind up wasting, um, his, his twilight years and nothing, you know, they had a nice run. They had a, what, 10, 12, 13 year run where they were on top and looking great. It's come to an end. And it's just, it's not your birthright to contend for a title. And they're going to find that out the hard way um, the next couple of years for sure. So there you go. The newest Golden State Warrior, Kyle Slowmo Anderson. Give me your thoughts below. Thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being the title sponsor of the Krug Show. Uh, thanks to Underdog Fantasy for sponsoring this video. Thanks to all of you guys for supporting the Krug Show on YouTube.